Hello Flosstube, this is Stasha, and it's the first week of July, so guess what? I'm a month late on my mania report. But you know what? It's fine. I had a lot of things going on. In May we had DevOps Days, and then in June there was the Utah Arts Festival. Both events that I volunteered at. Learned a lot at both of them. My husband graduated from culinary school, so we had all that going on during May and June as well, his attending school and everything. So let's just jump right in. What did I do during Mania? Well, I've been working on ecology. Stay on your own piece, needle. So here's where I'm at at ecology. We've finished the tiger. Panda was finished before, but started working on the desert tortoise. I actually have quite a bit done on the desert tortoise. Well, it's not halfway yet, but more than I had last time. The Celtic Heart, quite a bit of improvement on that. I think the last time you saw it, I had this upper corner was about it. So we're over halfway on the outer border. Then for Mania, I was also working on Fruit Bell Pole. And got quite a bit done on the pairs, including some of the back stitching. I back stitch as I go because for a while I was getting really, a lot of my stuff was just getting stuck and never getting finished. And I realized a lot of it was backstitching. And I found I just really don't enjoy backstitching. So if I backstitch as I go, then I actually get the pieces finished. Um, Dragon Ride got some love. It's not gonna get worked on for a while, so I've released it from the frame so that the fabric doesn't stretch. But Dragon Ride got some attention. Got some more done on the wings there. Put that on that side. And I started Rose Fairy. And this is how much we've got done on Rose Fairy. And you're going, wait, that leg is brown. Joan Elliott didn't do it brown. That's because Light look, took one look at the fairy and said, yeah, she kind of looks like a belly dancer with that bare midriff. So we're doing her as a belly dancer. So she is going to be somewhat Egyptian or Middle Eastern. And that led me to what I'm going to talk about after I show you this piece. Because the other piece that I worked on during, during Mania was I got started on New Year's Eve Fairy. And you're saying there's not even enough there to tell that that is New Year's Eve Fairy. And that's right. And I did a color conversion on it so that she's going to be wearing a dark dress instead of a light dress. And you may change some things as we still go. So color skin conversions. I put together this nice little thing of skin conversions with all these others to go in it too. And if you want to know how to do the discs, Annette Zaker has uh, the instructions on how to do the discs. But I put together this whole thing of skin colors. And then I got out my old DMC card and realized this row right here, this row right here is all skin tones. Followed by, so it starts here and goes to here. That's all skin tones. So I took all this time putting this together when all I had to do was look right here and there they are. From here to there. That is skin tones. But I still haven't taken this apart yet. But I'll be redoing it to match the skin tones. So there was something else I finished during Mania and that was my watercolor heart. It was a start and a finish, and I still haven't framed it. So there's the frame. But that came as a kit. And there is enough thread left in this kit for somebody else to do it. So see, there's enough thread there. You can find your own heart charm somewhere. But there are enough beads 
and enough leftover floss. I mean, I didn't even separate this section of floss. That's, you know, didn't need it. So there is enough floss to do this pattern two or three times. I did it once, that's enough. So we're going to play Pass the Kid Along. If you would like to have the Watercolor Hearts kit, you'll still have to do your own fabric and you won't have the little frame thing and you'll need your own charm. But if you would like the Watercolor Hearts kit, I will draw for it when I do the next video, which hopefully will be the first week of August. But what you'll need to do is you'll need to comment on this video what is an alternate to carbonated beverages that you like. And <clears throat> basically I'm off carbonation for the summer and I just can't drink straight water. And fruit juice has too much sugar, so I am looking for alternates to carbonated beverages. So if you would like to have the Watercolor Hearts kit sent to you, comment with an alternate to carbonation be our alternate beverage to carbonation. So summer plans. This summer I'm planning on spending less time on Facebook and I have deleted a lot of games off my tablet and off my phone because I've got too much to do. I'm spending way too much time wasting time and not doing anything productive like finishing my stitching. One of the things that we talked about at DevOps days was the concept of whip limits because if you if if in a software organization or actually in any work organization if you do not have work in progress limits nothing never gets finished. It all gets to one point and it stacks up where the where the the constraint is because there's always one unit that is slower than everybody else. So in stitching that's me. <laughs> so because there's plenty of designs out there and there's lots and lots of thread and lots of fabric but when it comes to actually doing the stitching I am not putting enough time in on my stitching as I need to to get things actually finished and I've got way too many things in progress. Well if you don't have work in progress limits what happens in a workplace situation is you get lots and lots of half finished projects. I have lots and lots of half finished projects and I know personally I get really anxious and irritated and don't want to work on anything at all if I get over 36 whips. And right now I'm getting really close to that point. So I am not starting anything new until I finish up a few things. Celtic Heart's almost finished. Ecology's almost finished. Fruit Bell Pull. I have the apricots and, one, and the cherries block and then it's done. Um, we've got so many things that are so close to finish that for the next little while, I'm just going to focus on whips. And now, having said that, I have an unboxing. Because my friend Terry, who has lots and lots and lots of patterns and finishes lots and lots and lots of things, and has decided she needed, needed more space in her stitching room, has sent me a beautiful box, which I am just opening right now full of patterns and here I just said I wasn't going to start new things right yes so let's go through and see what's in the box because some of the things I asked for some of the things I said just surprise me so let's see what all's in the box there are mirabilias in here is a duplicate will be going up for sale and along those lines I have tins. You know how people always need tins to put things in? Because they know people 
sew and stitch, they always need tins, right? So I have tins. I have tins. I even have the Courier Ives tin. And you can hear, oh, and this one. This would be good for pencils. But I already have my pencils and something. So I have tints. So if you would like to comment about some of the best places that you know to sell patterns, um, I'm not too fond of eBay, but I can always sell them there. But if there are Facebook sites that, that you know, that you frequent for buying patterns, let me know. And if you have suggestions on how to ship the tins, we'll go that way too. If you can figure out how, to sh how, for how I'm going to ship them to you, I'll send you one. Okay, so we have Lizzie Kate, Mary Ho Ho Ho. Praise your children and they will bloom. Friends make life sweeter. Which Way and Fright Turn, so a Halloween collection. Children are a great way to start people. No Place Like Home for the Holidays. A bunch of these are good. Bless This Baby, so a baby sampler. Some of my best friends are children. Some of my best friends act like children, but that's why we're best friends. To teach is to touch life forever. Gloria and Pat, little things count. Love is spoken here. <laughs> I remember the year 2000 bug. I was all night changing numbers from one nine to two zero on a computer program. And also rebooting it to make sure it didn't crash for year 2000. Be thankful to my teacher. Lizzie Kate Boxers, springtime. You are sunshine. Teachers touch the future. Mirabilia's Deepest Love. Pretty sure I have this one, but I'll check. Adia, the Garden Fairy. Not sure I have that one. Midsummer Night's Fairy. Pretty sure that's a duplicate. Second collector series of Little Things Count. Mermaid of the Pearls. Under the Friendship Tree. Pretty sure I don't have that one. Villa Mirabilia. I think I have that one, not positive. Waiting for Ships. Titania, Queen of the Fairies. Queen Mermaid. Another Lizzie Kate, Everybody Do the Hop. Rose of Sharon. The Dreamer. Pretty sure I don't have that one actually. Legends of the Sky. Bunch of bombers. Black Swans Enchantra. Carousel Dreams. I think I have this one, but I'm not positive, so that goes in the maybe. Carousel Fantasy, I know I don't have that one. Also Carousel Fantasy. Carousel Fantasy Lion. Carousel Horses in Cross Stitch. Hmm. Gee. You don't think I, you don't see a theme here? Oh, look, there's a zebra. Um, yeah, I, I do carousel things, so we're going to talk about that in a little bit. I wonder if they've got the armored horse. I don't know. 
Okay, Angel Tapestry by Just Nan. Baby Garden. Pretty sure I don't have that one. Burgundy Bouquet. Follow the Needle. Noah's Ark with the Charm Pack. Oh, I've been looking for the Noah's Ark charm on that one. True Blue Heart. Shenanigans. Abigail. Bo Bunny. Oh, Bo Bumble. I always wanted the hedgehog in the shenanigans. This is very. So this is not Reginald Hedgehog. Bonnie. Charlotte. Guardian Grace. Noah Bear. Splendora. I have a butterfly charm that will fit her. Toby Teddy. Twinkle. Twinkle Bear. Isn't that cute? The leftover beads. Mates by Cross My Heart. Horses at Dawn. Life's a Zoo. It's got a foxy lady and a flamingo in the pink. And hippos saying, Let's boogie, and two. Two little birds saying don't play with your food as they tug a world with a worm. Endangered cats. English cottages. Dragon fair. I think... I think I have the, the water one of this, but not the fire one. So I'll have to check that. Chase the wind. Oh, Cry of the Wild. See what happens when I do things fast without my, without my glasses. Animal Profiles. Tropical Fish Treasures. The Pack. This and that. A bunch of little designs, flowers and stuff. Oh, those pansies are really cute. So is the Noah's Ark. Three Wolves, The Big Cats, Safari Sunset. You don't see this one very often anymore. Cross My Heart used to be really big when I first started stitching. You don't see a lot of their designs anymore. Wild Animals in North America. My daughter's going to like that one. Precious Moments Christmas, Angel Dumplin' Designs, Precious Moments Because You Count, Tiffany, Precious Moments The Lord is Counting on You, Designs by Gloria and Pat along the countryside, it's different florals and some, looks like there's also some market, some buildings in there as well. A Merry Mouse Christmas from Gloria and Pat. Gloria and Pat's Angel Chorus, which has this angel and this angel. The 
10 year anniversary design from Precious Moments. Because you count. Another because you count. Betsy Clark, which is kind of like Precious Moments, but cute. Cherish Teddy Sampler. My antique toy collection. Teddy bears and cars and wagons. Precious moments make a joyful noise. Precious moments in miniature. Love one another. Hearts full of love. Oh my gosh. Holly Hobby Designs and Cross Stitch. I have not seen Holly Hobby stuff in ages. Do kids even know what Holly Hobby is anymore? Anyway. Cherish Teddy's Carousels. Oh, that's cute. That's got some cute designs. And a cross stitch lessons lesson for beginners. <coughs> so that's everything that was in the box. Some of it's going to stay. Some of it's going to go up for sale. And that's pretty much my plans for. Well, that's pretty much what I did for Mania in the last month during June. And I really have no summer plans right now other than working on existing whips and hopefully not starting anything else. I've decided that sales don't work for me because it's just too much responsibility to have to admit, here's where I am. I actually stitched. Here's where, where I stopped. So, um, yeah, I'm still going to post pictures of what I do, but I'm not going to, probably not going to participate in any official stitch longs. I am participating in the second half of Stitch, Stitch for Stash if I can remember to post because one of the things I am doing this summer is trying to cut down my Facebook time and um, not planning on spending much on Stash, although I am going to buy um, one of Cindy Sorley's uh, palace designs. We're, we're setting up a time to do a floss toss because the more I think about it, I have never quite found the right fabric for Savannah's curtsy. And I think that palace fabric would work for the for Savannah's curtsy. So that's pro we're gonna do a floss toss and see which of the of the four colors she has work best for that. So other than that, you know, as as you saw with Rose Fairy, the pattern's just a place to start. Do what you want to make it your own. Talk to you all later. Bye.